Today, like many days, I'm putting into action my love for society by documenting people and places. And to me, there's no better place in Tokyo to show society than Ginza. I'll be shooting one of my favorite films that thankfully Fuji still produces. I hope. Fuji Color 100. Just like Ginza, this camera has a lot of history. And it's a little complicated, but it's reliable and never out of style. Ginza, unlike Shibuya or Shinjuku, doesn't have loud advertisements and TVs blaring music at you. The most you'll hear is this. And something else you'll see later. Ginza also attracts a certain class, you might say, of street photographer. It's always difficult trying to approach taking a photo of a street performer and it not being too cliché. They do create a friendly and social atmosphere. To be honest, some people have questioned my intentions or disagreed with my style of street photography in the past. I can't blame them for a lack of understanding about me. My goal is to capture society in its natural state. I believe in documenting history with technical and artistic photography. That includes people too. I want to talk about this subject more but for now, please understand, I love people. No matter if I ask for the photo or not, I love people. lighting here can be amazing, but you have to act before it's too late. <laughs> the way you have your dog and 
I'm from California. Oh, same. Oh, oh where? Where, where are you from? Yeah. LA, SoCal. I'm close from LA. I'm from Oxford, but you're a daddy. Oh, where? Great. I really appreciate you guys. Smiling. The best aspect of Ginza isn't its fancy stores and fashion, it's the people. Ginza never changes, but if it does, I'll have these little pieces of history. Stay humble, everyone. What did you think of today's music in the video? To be honest, I really loved it, and I'm so happy I could find something to fit the mood and atmosphere I was going for. Previously with my channel, I was struggling trying to find quote-unquote free music online to fit my videos. I would spend hours searching for the right music. And then, often the free music would get struck down by YouTube's copyright infringement overlords. Then I thought, why don't I make my own music? And I did for a while, but it quickly became too time consuming, and I couldn't find the time to make more and make good songs at that. I can't be a full-time photographer, YouTube superstar, dad punching bag, 
and competent music producer all at once. That's why I turned to Artlist for all my music and sound effect needs. No matter the genre, mood, rhythm, or beat you're looking for, Artlist has you covered. They give you the license for every song, and it's yours to use forever in the projects you made, even if you decide to cancel your subscription later. I have a custom link in my video description for you to use. Also, anyone who purchases an Artlist annual subscription via my link will receive two additional months free. This will also help support my channel, so I think you should give it a shot, and we'll all benefit. Thanks Artlist, and thanks to everyone who subscribes today.